Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about what is the difference between salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. Numerous people ask me a lot of questions regarding salicylic acid, ask me a lot of questions regarding benzoyl peroxide. They both are the counter treatment ingredient for curing acne and they target different types of acne. In this video, I'm going to be dividing the section into salicylic acid and then to the benzoyl peroxide. To the first part, what is salicylic acid? Salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. It dissolves everything that clogs up the pores, including the oil, the dead skin cells, and the environmental irritants. It exfoliates the skin and gets rid of the uh, clogged pores that can be whiteheads as well as blackheads. It is anti-inflammatory, so it's less likely to cause redness on the skin. It is gentler on skin when compared to benzoyl peroxide, so it is a better choice for sensitive skin type as compared to benzoyl peroxide. It is recommended for non-inflammatory acne that can be like clogged pores, whitehead, blackheads, the small comedons that is forming onto the skin. It is excellent for treating these kind of condition. It is good for oily skin as well as the people who have large pores. Now to the part, what is benzoyl peroxide? Benzoyl peroxide is a counter treatment ingredient that actually targets the propenobacterium acne, which causes the acne on the skin. These bacteria, propinobacterium acne, they are causing the inflammatory acne, which causes the redness, huge aggressive acne marks onto the skin. So the benzoyl peroxide hinders or stops the growth of this bacteria that causes acne onto the skin. As it's an organic acid, it targets the propinobacterium acne by introducing oxygen into the skin and that actually kills the propinobacterium acne. It helps with reducing the redness and inflammation that has appeared on the acne or is on the pimples. Benzoyl peroxide is most likely to cause irritation when compared to salicylic acid and it does cause redness, dryness onto the sensitive skin type and even in the worst cases it can even irritate the skin majorly and then that can lead to a huge problem. The salicylic acid is much more gentler as compared to benzoyl peroxide but benzoyl peroxide shows like instant results and it is good for oily skin type. The benzoyl peroxide is recommended for inflammatory acne with red swollen and postules. This is like pus forming acne. These are very painful. They are very aggressive. They sit on the skin. They're very painful when you pluck it. So benzoyl peroxide just, you know, kills those bacteria and make the skin smoother, settler, and it calms down that redness on the skin. The concentrations of benzoyl peroxide present in the counter is around 2.5% to 10% of benzoyl peroxide. Personally, I have used 5% of benzoyl peroxide, which has shown really good results but you can use like 2.5 if you have more like sensitive skin and also a combination with oily skin type, then 2.5, you can go with the lower concentrations, jump to the higher concentration later. But 2.5 to 10%, 10% is more you know, potent, only extreme acne people having suffering from severe acne can use the 10%, not like 2.5 because 10% is more like keeping it for like 10 minutes and then washing it off. You cannot keep it for overnight. It can cause more dryness, but it is for severe acne. But if you have like, you know, mild acne, you're seeing like your pimples are like popping up, then you can use 2.5 lower concentration and then keep it for five minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water. Be careful with benzoyl peroxide as higher concentration of benzoyl peroxide can cause bleaching on your bedding as well as your clothes. So you should not apply it there. Make sure that if you have like a, if you're wearing an old t-shirt, that is like better choice. If you're wearing a new t-shirt and you're using benzoyl peroxide, that can bleach it. So just be cautious about that one thing. Sometimes dermatologists, you know, give these two as, you know, the treatment ingredients, but you cannot use it together as it can cause a lot of irritation, but you can use it like an alternative treatment. If you're using benzoyl peroxide for some time, then you can use like salicylic acid. Salicylic acid concentration ranges from 2% to 3%. Wash off products have like 3% and leave on products have 2% of salicylic acid. And dermatologists, when they want to cure like milder acne, they give like salicylic acid wash-offs and benzoyl peroxide treatments for leave-on product or for 10 minutes for applying it as an acid and then washing it off. 
but sometimes a, even like a dermatologist try to give it as an alternative treatment like one month of benzoyl peroxide and one month of uh, uh, salicylic acid so they are like switching in between the ingredients but these two ingredients are targeting curing acne salicylic acid cleans the pores and benzoyl peroxide targets the killing of the propinobacterium acne these are the bacteria that cause acne onto the skin and benzoyl peroxide just kills it and then the salicylic acid cleans the pores and reduces the pore size the take home message is that you can use salicylic acid for treating whitehead, blackhead, uh, clogged pores or oily skin type and the benzoyl peroxide is more targeted toward inflammatory acne and killing off the propenobacterium acnes and together you cannot use it as it can cause high amount of irritation onto the skin. For sensitive skin types you can use salicylic acid over benzoyl peroxide as the concentration of benzoyl peroxide can be drying but remember to always moisturize your skin well after applying any of these ingredients as they can lead to more dryness of the skin. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below and make sure that you follow me on my Instagram handle. I will see you soon in another video. Thank you very much for watching and bye guys.